now now we have no idea what the hell is going to happen oh. because Daniel Lewis Crumpton is here. Crumpton. Knock, knock. What is that heavy breathing? Wait, wait. Knock, that? knock, he uh, says. Who's there? Michael Slager. Michael Slager. Who? <laughs> You're under arrest. Put your hands behind your back. <laughs> oh, it's that guy that sounds like Dave Ramsey. He's, he's, he stole my taser. <laughs> yeah, okay. Fucking For one thing, bastard. I'm not trying to be insensitive, but son of a bitch, have we not crossed the threshold in this country already? I mean, you know what I, 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 Putting all humor aside for a minute, that was the sickest thing I've seen in a long time. And what makes it even sicker was the guy ran back to get the taser, you know, as if, you know, I guess he didn't nobody, know anybody was recording. But, you know, people, when you talk about police brutality, these police stations are saying these are isolated incidents. That's bullshit. This is happening on uh, Every day. So, so frequent of a basis. And it, it now, thankfully, now everybody's got a camera just about. But, you know, that dude, if there hadn't have been, I'm telling you right now, if there had not have been a camera filming that incident, that cop would not have been indicted. No, no doubt. Absolutely, absolutely not. Right. And you know what the flip side of that, of that is, Daniel, is that the thing that has made me crazy over the years is people used to complain about the concept of Big Brother. We have it now. It is absolutely out there. You can't escape anywhere without being surveilled by video in one way or another, and sometimes it's a damn good thing. Yeah. Because in this case, this guy was acting with impunity, believing that there was going to be no way that there would be a witness in any way, shape, or form. Right. And I'm just as pissed off to see this, and let me just say this, I'm just as pissed off to see this as I was to see Kelly Thomas choking to death, okay? Yeah. Or as I was to see Eric Garner choking to death. Mm -hmm. Or as I was, you know, and how many times, how many other names? And it's not and, and I know that Black Lives Matter is moving forward with all this stuff, and they're right. But what the hell, man? All of our lives matter, and this is out of control. And it's, and it's not just it's not just black uh, black victims either. That's bullshit. You know, uh, they are heavily targeted. That's true for for uh, uh, victimless crimes like a damn tail light. They are pulled over more. But white people are getting shot. Just so let's not keep let's not make it a race thing. What this is is a, a, a authoritarian police officers mentality that they that they're the boot you know that's what the problem is it has nothing to do with race well, exactly I and, I, and i'm sitting here thinking and i'm like i'm sorry kim that's but okay. it's like uh let me let, let's use some logic here let's let's pull out our logical scales tail light um is equal to the balance of a life but here's the fucked up thing he was pulling into a goddamn auto auto part store like a napa or a auto zone or some shit like that yeah. that's what he pulled into yeah so I mean, I, even so, whatever he fucking tail whatever he was doing and evading the police still does not equal the death penalty. I said this before regarding the whole thing in 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 uh, in Ferguson. Tell me that stealing blunts and being a menace is equal to the death penalty. Yeah. Tell me that being a vagrant with a mental problem in California, Kelly Thomas, is equal to the death penalty. Mm -hmm. Tell me that a boy playing with a toy gun in any way, shape, or form, even if he did actually have some sort of a weapon, tell me that that's actually equal to the well, death penalty. What happens Had to you shoot it, to injure? Shoot to injure? Like hurt, hit them in the leg. Gone. Well, they do it in other countries. Yeah, but no. they also yeah, have it but our training teams. here. Uh, our training here is shoot to kill. It, 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 I, I think I, I don't. I don't. Even, I wouldn't even be opposed to pushing in type of legislation to to uh, make it so that police officers don't have firearms anymore. You know, if you want to have your taser, your mace, whatever. But this is getting out of hand. This is getting out of yeah. hand. I would uh, actually support that mo or, that idea, you know, Daniel. At the very least, keep your firearm locked in the car like your AR-15. You know. So that you have time in between an altercation to, you know, if somebody's running away or whatever, you have time to weigh logically if it's worth deadly force or not. This is getting stupid, you know. Uh, the the roles of what they're uh, of them being public servants has been totally turned up on its head, and you know, oh. you know, when at least when I was a kid growing up, to an extent, you felt comfort when you saw a cop. You knew everything was okay. But now, man, everybody gets paranoid when they. Then that's not right. And they really need to look at this. They really, really need to look at this because, you know, and I don't advocate violence whatsoever uh, except in the case of self-defense. But Americans are going to get sick and tired of this, and they're going to start shooting back.